No, there is no honor in this. Hello and welcome to another Hot Roster Review. Today I will be reviewing the six episode Netflix original anime, Yasuke. For those of you who do not know, Yasuke was based on a real historical figure of the same name. He was the first and only black samurai. I first learned about him after watching the anime Afro Samurai when I looked to the inspiration for it. Then I had heard plans about a Yasuke movie starring Chadwick Boseman, but that project was cancelled after his untimely death. Since I knew a bit about Yasuke, I was excited to see that his story would be getting an anime adaptation. Unfortunately, this anime was just full of disappointments. The story starts off with Yasuke as a retired samurai who was still traumatized by his last battle. He's given up fighting, but he's put in a situation where he has to fight to protect a sick girl. Later in the anime, he overcomes his trauma, supposedly, and becomes a samurai once more. I actually enjoyed the first couple of episodes, as we got to see Yasuke's life serving under the daimyo Oda Nobunaga. They were just flashbacks, but it was the story I wanted to see. A historical fiction based on the life of the black samurai, Yasuke. Unfortunately, they turned it into a complete fantasy with unexplained magical powers and sci-fi mechs. Now, fantasy is one of my favorite genres, so I don't really mind that Yasuke has some fantasy elements. The thing that bothers me the most is that magic is very important to the plot, yet we don't get much of an explanation of where it comes from, how it works, and what you can do with it. It just exists and it does whatever is convenient to the plot. If you ask me what the astral plane was, all I'd be able to tell you is, I went to a place called the astral plane and has colorful clouds and stars and black holes. The magic is just way too confusing and it makes the story as a whole uninteresting. Not to mention, it takes away from Yasuke's personal journey. I feel like the anime was attempting to show Yasuke accept himself as a samurai, but we don't really get much attention to that emotional development. We see some of this when characters insult him by calling him servant. It is very weird because as Nobunaga's retainer, he actually is a servant. It was like the anime was attempting to avoid the word slave, which is what he actually was before becoming a samurai. The show could have been so much better if there were some focus on the emotional and cultural transition from slavery to becoming a samurai. Instead, the anime seems to place focus on another character, Saki. She wasn't necessarily a bad character, but she wasn't all that great either. My main issues with her are the same as my issues with the entire series. She has incredible magical powers that came out of nowhere and they take away from Yasuke's character development. The show is not called Yasuke and the ultra powerful magical little girl who doesn't even need a samurai to protect her. It's just Yasuke. So I expected that he would be the focus. But by episode 5, when the plot got more confusing, it was very clear that he was just the side character. We got to see other characters too, but we don't get enough time with any of them to be invested in their stories or lives. The only other characters that I cared about were the mercenary group that were hired to kill Saki. But I didn't even really care when two of them sacrificed themselves for her later on, because the show didn't have enough time to build enough of an emotional attachment to these characters yet. MAPPA took on this project, and they can be hit or miss when it comes to animation. The animation in this show was nothing out of the ordinary, but it was good, and it was consistently good. Just nothing jaw-dropping. It seems like most of the animation went towards magical effects, which is disappointing because Yasuke's skills and movements look worse in comparison. Like I said earlier, my favorite part of this anime was when we saw Yasuke's backstory. The entire story should have been about Yasuke becoming a samurai and serving as Oda Nobunaga's retainer. It definitely would have made for a much more interesting story than the one we got. There isn't much information about Yasuke documented, so you might think that a historical retelling of his life would be boring or very short. But a historical retelling doesn't have to be completely accurate, especially if it is historical fiction. For example, the Broadway musical Hamilton was based on the founding father Alexander Hamilton, and it wasn't 100% accurate. Some things got changed and added to make the musical more interesting. The same could be done with Yasuke, and I hope we get a good historical fiction anime, live action, or video game about Yasuke in the near future. 
Overall, I believe that Yasuke should have and could have been way better. I can't really say I recommend this series to anyone. If you are interested in a historical figure, then you will be disappointed. If you have no idea who Yasuke was before watching this video, you'd be disappointed and you'd lose all interest in any future Yasuke projects. And one thing I forgot to mention is that the story is also just boring. I almost fell asleep many times throughout the entire show because it felt like there was nothing important going on. There just wasn't enough time to get emotionally invested in what was actually happening. But I still have hope that one day we will get an interesting historical fiction story about the legendary Black Samurai. Lay down your weapons! Lord Nobunaga accepts your surrender! Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and slash that subscribe button if you want to see some more anime reviews on this channel. And please leave a comment about your thoughts on the anime or just Yasuke in general. I'll see you in the next life. Peace out.